Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video showing you a couple of things with the fall challenge. I'm going to go over how to submit your miles, how to edit any activities, and also how to make any changes within your registration. So to begin with, you want to go to runsignup.com and sign in. While signing in, make sure that you use the same email that you used. I know a couple of you have multiple email accounts, just make sure it's the same one. Otherwise, it's not going to show up within your upcoming events. And then once you get logged in, you're going to go to your user profile. To begin with, I'm going to show you how to submit your mileage. So you're going to go down to Upcoming Events, locate the event, and then right beside of it, hit Submit act, Submit Results. Once you get to this page, you're going to go to the date. Make sure the date is what it needs to be. And then you're going to input how many miles you did on that day. So I did seven miles today. I'm going to put seven within that box. If I would like to put a comment on how I felt, what I did, I can put it within the comment box. And then I'm going to hit Submit Activity. Now you can submit multiple activities at once. So if you want to do this once a week, once every two weeks, you can. Just do the best you can to stay caught up with it because it is easy to get behind. And while that is syncing, it takes one to three minutes to sync within the database. I'm going to show you how to do the other things, which is making edits to your registration. So you're going to go to, again, runsignup.com. Go to your profile, and this time instead of hitting submit results, you're going to hit manage registration. And what this page allows you to do is pretty much make any changes that you would like. There is a couple limitations, and the due date to make any change is the end of October. But again, this is where you're going to make any changes. So if you need to update your participant info, if your email changed or anything like that, that's where you would change it. If you need to switch events, so if I would like to go from the 460 to the 210, I would hit the transfer event tab and then proceed. Now if you do move events and they have it highlighted, your mileage is not going to get moved over. So you're going to have to, and what I've allowed people to do in the summer is just upload all your mileage that you have up to that point within one day. So if you've done 100 miles up to the day that you change your challenges, just put 100 miles on one day and then proceed as you usually would. If you need to update your giveaway, so this is your shirt size, you just go onto the giveaway tab, change it, and then hit continue. If you need to update your add-ons, so let's say you didn't buy an extra blanket, but now you'd like one, you can go in here and buy an additional blanket. Let's say you also need to go in here and add shipping. Let's say now you're going to be out of town while we do the pickups, which have not been determined yet. But let's say now that you need to add the shipping, you're just going to go to your Manage Registration Add-ons tab, click the Add Shipping, and then hit Continue to pay for it. If you need to update your shipping address, just hit the Shipping tab. So if you move at any point within the challenge, just make sure that you change that. And then the other one that we get a lot of is how do I add slash join a team? You'll want to go to the group team tab and then you can either join team or create new team. And this is where you do that. Just follow the steps and then again, just follow the steps, create and join new team and hit that button. So again, that's how you make any changes. And now with that said, I'm going to assume that the results have been synced and that it is now within the results database. So I'm now going to go to my profile. This time I'm going to click on the race itself and then I'm going to go to the results tab. I'm going to make sure that I am within my results set that I need to be. So I'm doing the 460. And then as you can tell, here I am in seventh place with seven miles. If I click on my name, there's a ton of options here on this results page. The first new highlight is the add-on badges that we have created we've done a lot of badges this time um, for example in the 460 mile challenge we have 92 badges that you can collect they go from anything from passing specific locations on the map hitting specific percentages on the map so once i hit 46 miles i'm going to get the 10 percent badge and then we also have some badges that you get if you run and submit an activity on specific days so if you run and submit an activity on Halloween, you're going to get this Halloween badge. 
Next up is going to be how to look at your map. So if you go to your results page and then go to your view map, you're going to click on that. And then this is just going to highlight where you would be if you're physically running this. So you can tell at mile 7, I'm going to be right about here. And if I'd like to get an actual visual, you're just going to take your little yellow man and put him on your blue dot. And then you can kind of do a virtual look around to kind of see what it would look like if you were actually running it. Now the only other thing I need to show you is how to edit or delete an activity if you make a mistake. So pretty much the same flow process. You're going to go to your profile, hit submit results, and this time you're going to hit, you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to hit a button called manage activities. Once you hit that button, it's going to list out all of your activities that you have submitted if you need to edit. So if you messed up, and you did, let's say I did six miles today instead of seven, I'll just hit edit. I will change the seven to a six and then hit submit. And if I need to delete it, so let's say my computer froze up and I accidentally submitted two activities for today, both of seven miles, and I need to delete one, you would just hit this delete button and then it's gone. So again, pretty easy to do on both of them. But again, th this video is just kind of a walkthrough of how to submit your miles, going over the results page, how to make any changes to your registration, and then how to edit activities if you make a mistake. If you have any questions or need anything, we do ask that you look within the FAQs first. And then if you cannot find an answer to your question, you can definitely email us at ricky at aptiming.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can. We hope this video helped you and we hope that you enjoyed the 100 day challenge and want to thank you for joining us. Thank you all.